In this video, I want to go over briefly and prepare students as far as whenever you're working throughout this course and you're working with the different software packages such as GraphicScale and even Blender, organizing behind the scenes as far as folders and storing your files. In my experience at this point in education, a lot of K through 12 schools kind of commit to Chromebooks, uh, iPads, etc., where you heavily rely on the cloud. Nowadays, that kind of changes a little bit whenever you get more back into the software element. Um, so I wanted to just talk a little bit about some ideas as far as keeping track of your files locally and how you can store them and move them around. So all I've done here is just so that you can see, made a blank file here uh, in graphic scale. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say to myself, you know, I need somewhere to store all of my projects and my work for my class. Now, depending on how you are taking the class, you can make a new folder and for instance here, this would be MMC113. Now the thing is, is are you taking it in a classroom? Are you taking it on Zoom? Are you taking it asynchronously? That will depend on where you want to keep this folder. So for example, Zoom in asynchronous, the odds are good you're probably working on a personal computer. So you could put this on your desktop. You could put this if you have a favorite spot like your documents area, you can put that there. Uh, those types of things work. It's when you get into the face-to-face -face where you're using a public lab environment. Yes, you're going to have this folder, but you are going to want to have a way to move the files from point A to point B. So this might be, for instance, uh, I've had students use external drives. I've had students use thumb drives. For the content from graphic scale and any sort of pixel art, one nice thing about the files is they are so small that it would also be very easy. You could still go back to the cloud and use something like OneDrive or Dropbox or Google Drive and just store your files up in the cloud when you're done working. Now, the only drawback to that is, is you have to remember when you're done working to actually upload your files. So just keep that in mind. But now also from an organizational standpoint, so I've made this 113 folder. Maybe I make a subfolder here that is going to be maybe let's call it like pixel work. And then as we know, later in the course, we're going to do maybe material work. And then from there, you can keep kind of going down the list if you want to make a folder for specific projects or learning activities you can do so so now if i go ahead and let's do a quick save here for my gale file by default graphic scale is going to actually want to save the file in the graphic scale folder again though depending on how you're taking the course this could change so actually, this is a great example here that if you are taking it where you're working on your local home machine or personal computer, this MMC113 folder I made, you could technically just make right in the graphic scale folder. For someone though who is taking this in a public lab environment, you're going to want to navigate back out to where you have that folder. So here's my MMC113. And then I'll go ahead and change the name like save file demo.gale. That way now I've saved it in a spot and there you can see my file. I've saved it in a spot that if I need to move to another computer or I need to take it home with me, I now have it in a folder storage area that now I can just grab this 113 folder off of the desktop and either move it back to Google Drive or Dropbox or OneDrive or push it back onto an external drive and so on and so forth. So I hope this video helps as far as getting set up for the semester and gives you some food for thought about how do you actually want to store and organize your files. The biggest mistake that I've seen, st seen students make is that they will just save files wherever save them on the desktop, save them in the documents, or save some to the cloud, some locally, really have a folder structure specifically for the course to hold all of your content. And that concludes as far as giving you some tips and tricks on how to set up and save and organize your files.